Ben Bostrom in Daytona. That's uh, it's uh, almost nine o'clock Daytona time. That's about two a.m. California time. It definitely feels like it. Still shaking the cobwebs out of the eyes, but we're here. One lap on this thing. I'll be awake. Now you jump into the most competitive class in AMA racing, the super sport, deep waters of super sport. I mean, it's 15 riders deep. The superbike class is an amazing class. You know, obviously, I would still love to be in that class. The racing hasn't been so good in it, but I think Yamaha is going to close the gap this year. The boys have got some new parts and they're up to speed. But traditionally, the 600 class is, is a tough one, really a tough one. Every brand seems to build a great 600. I believe the R6 is going to be the best of this year, obviously. And we're out there to win, win, win. Josh is riding well, but the Honda guys are hungry. Jake and Josh Hayes, you know, they're, they're going to be up to speed. They're already very fast from last year. Raj is defending his title. Tommy should bring the Suzuki up there, and I think the class is every week is going to be a dogfight. It should be a lot of fun. Now we saw you out there chasing around with Josh Heron, your teammate. Are you guys able to collaborate more than be adversarial teammates? Yeah, I always try it with my teammate. Obviously, my, my goal is to beat him, but I plan to beat everyone else as well, you know? Last year, I didn't have a teammate, neither did he, and so we, you know, there's not much to talk about between the 1,000 and the 600, obviously. And this year, at least you have someone to help you pick a tire, pick suspension, pick brakes, pick the little things that, that count out on the track trying not to kill each other you know switch gears a little bit talk about some of the products that you guys have uh, on the market these days the the Bostrom products particularly like your pipes the exhaust pipes we've been that's what we really have on the market you know the t-shirts hats beanies sweaters we've been building a new website so we actually haven't put them out on the market yet because we want to introduce them on our website which is kind of like a bit of a boutique and the exhaust we make exhaust for most of the, most of the bikes you know it's a it's Kind of a different style of exhaust. Looks more like uh, looks more like a megaphone, like old school kind of hot rod. Yeah. And it's got three three different sound levels, which is nice. Got a couple different cores you can remove or put back in through one bolt. That way, the people can ride through the neighborhood, not piss everyone off, right. or they can if they want to. And the idea is, you know, we're mingling with the business thing to see if we want to do it. But obviously, goal number one is race, race, race. And then when we retire, maybe have something fun to do afterwards. We have a business to play with. Grow and grow and actually have time to work with it. And we're working with Suomi this year to maybe make some actual helmets that are Boz Brothers helmets from our line as well. So slowly, you know, it's a slow, it's a step, step by step. That's how we do it. Well, good luck today on the last day of the Dunlop test, and we'll let you uh, get awakened to California time. Thanks, thanks, gentlemen. One lap and you're kind of awake, you know, that's how that's how it works, you know, just one the little bike does about 170 and it's, it wakes you up.